In today's Adobe XD video, I am going to share with you a very recent and very prominent feature of Adobe XD, which is you can animate Lottie files, which is um, animated GIFs kind of SVGs. Basically, these are SVGs and JSON files dot JSON. If you are a developer, you already know that. Anyhow, so you can play video files you can play lottie files in your adobe xd files and that is a very very powerful feature i am going to share with you how to use that in that video video playback and lottie files so let's get started now here you can see uh, i have created something over here i'm also going to share with you um, where you can get the resources to actually let's try to you can see now now you can see here is my prototype just a simple prototype and i am running this you can see there is a background at the back which is moving um, forward and backward that is basically a lottie file lottie json file and here you can see we have said uh, great job greatly done and when we click on this all task completed this is again a lottie file so you can say this is a really nice animation of what you are going to get with this feature. So let's see the other one, which is actually um, video, video playback. And if you see, I have created this watch video again. And if you click over here, you can see this is just a um, video thumbnail. And when I click on this play, it is going to start the video. This is a really nice feature. If I click on this again, oops, what is happening? Maybe I have let's see if i have linked it back yes so here we have it let's run it again and i'm going to share with you okay so on the pause it is going to uh, stop now um how you can use them so this is this is a really simple way of doing that there is one plugin called lottie files here you can see i have loaded it uh, you can find it uh, in your um, Adobe's 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 uh, account so I think they have or you can search online let's try to see if I can search online so to install that you have to go to your Adobe Creative Cloud desktop and you have to go to these uh, stock and marketplace feature plugins or all plugins and you can search over here L O W T I E Lottie and uh, you can see here we have Lottie files for Adobe XD it, it has been installed and uh, to get those lottie files free lottie files there are two websites i'm going to share with you one is uh, where we have the first one okay so one is lottiefiles.com that is the same who have created the plugin and you can also you have to log in you have to create a free account over here and once you have done that you can see uh, here it is not showing me the preview of the file but if you go to um, let's try to click over here and you can see over here it says chat one apparel tech client so i can insert it as an svg or i can insert as lottie so i'm going to insert at as lottie okay so it has given me an error anyhow the best way is that you just go over here and uh, you need to find free lottie files Let's try to search over here. Okay, so now you can see we have already searched and here we have different uh, animated files over here. Let's try any of one of them. So let's try this one. Okay, so you can see once I open it, it gives me different options like uh, colors and uh, different bed options, uh, looping, uh, you can see it says animation speed you can set that over here and uh, we are going to click on download lottie json files this is the one we need you can also download mp4 but i think this is the one we are going to need save and it is going to save over here so let's grab this file this is 30,854 tablet json i am going to drag and drop it over here in uh, adobe xd let's drop it over here like that so now I'm going to drag it over here. Let's try to create a new artboard over here. 
so let's go back to artboard or layers over here create a new artboard oops so this is a rectangle actually I need an artboard and I have pressed A and let's try to use this one okay, so I'm going to zoom out just drag this and drop this so simple is that you have to just drag and drop it now once you drag and drop you can see we have interactive media tab over here on the right controls and we can um, select the play on tap no playback play automatically uh, we can also go to edit playback and we can play it after some time uh, maybe uh, let's play it after 0.2 seconds and uh, play pause lotty playback yes and let's try to run this okay so this is the problem it is going to stop so before going to that we have to go back to uh, let's delete this interaction and uh, we need to go back actually to design and we have to select over here play automatically and we have to click on loop playback this is the one you are going to use the most so loop playback and once we load it you can see it is going to keep on looping back and forth so this is the one we need for for the background you can see uh, in this frame over here in this iphone i actually used a background uh, which is playing on the loop you can see over here this is the loop playback and I also reduce the opacity of this one so this is a simple way of playing your lotty files you can use them in your backgrounds you can use them as an interaction icons as I showed you and here we have uh, the video so video is also very simple and uh, what I have did over here let's delete both of these so I have one play icon let's zoom into it so you can see I have one play icon one pause icon on one screen so what I just did is I just uh, let's see the preview of these okay so I'm going to grab this one this horse one this new one and just drop it over here okay so it says videos with a maximum size of 15 MB so try to uh, use a video where the size is lower than 15 MB so I'm going to again grab this this one okay so here we have the video so I'm going to reduce the size to 500 pixels oops what has happened something something okay so opacity was changed so we are going to go back to 200 so this is the video I'm going to grab it and uh, let's put this button on the top of the top of this video let's make it a bit bigger it's very small so here we have the video okay so and here we have the button so so now I'm going to grab this again video and paste it in this frame over here and uh, bring this on the top like that you can check the position x 1423 x 1423 so they are on the same position also the buttons 180 693 180 689 so we have to 689 we don't want to shift the controls up and down okay so um, if you click on any video you can see we have some controls over here play on tap play automatically no playback edit playback and this is a uh, customized video so once you click on this you can see you can upload a thumbnail uh, for this video for example if I want to uh, use another thumbnail for example let's try to use uh, something on the desktop okay so let's try to use this one so I'm going to use this one instead okay so this is my thumbnail and uh, here we have loop playback I'm going to loop playback you can also trim it you can uh, shorten the video and click on ok <clears throat> But right now it's already very small, eight seconds. So I'm going to, let's try to use this, okay? And uh, you can also delete the thumbnail if you want to remove it. And here we have the video playback. So over here on this frame, I'm going to 
play automatically and I'm going to loop playback. So over here, I'm going to say no playback because I want this button to go over here and play this video. So in the prototype, you can see I have actually linked these two screens on tap and also for this one going back. So one video has no playback, the other video is playing automatically in the loop. So let's try to show you how it will work. This is so when, once you click over here, you can see this is the preview. And when I once I click over here, it is going to play. Once I click over here, it is going to go back to the previous frame or previous artboard and stop the video and show the thumbnail. So this is up to you. You can create a lot of different animations, different transitions, uh, different video playbacks, different Lottie file backgrounds. You can create your own if you know how to use that in Adobe After Effects. Uh, After Effects, I, I'm. I am not skilled with After Effects, but I think there are a lot of ways. So I'm going to share with you two uh, websites basically. So one is this lotifiles.com and the second one is this lotiflow. These are the ones I found uh, recently and I think you can use these over here. So you can see they have different categories for lotifiles. You can explore like attention, backgrounds, checkboxes, communication, countdown. So let's try to use this, uh, see what we have in CTA. Maybe it is the effects when you click a button, for example, like this one over here. So keep on using Lottie files and video uh, MP3, MP4 files, make sure they are smaller in size, less than 15 MB for uh, your video files. That is all about the new feature of Adobe XD to play your Lottie files and video playback. Uh, I will see you soon and meet you in another lesson. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.